Welcome everybody, welcome to RVT. This is Rashid on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, in conjunction with RMJC, Rashid's Music Jukebox Center, and I am the R Man coming on live and on social media, Google, YouTube, and other platforms. How you are doing? Um, I'm kind of um wasting time because we have I have a show for you guys, but you gotta wait because it's taking some time. Come, I'm chewing up some time because well, that's a long story. It's the holiday shopping is next week, so I need to put something up here for us to watch. <coughs> and I'm glad you guys are here, and thank you for tuning in. I just put up something yesterday, or what have you. The, the um another uh, picture up. It's just pretty entertaining. So maybe you could check that out. Uh, I'm not going to do no shout outs because I do shout outs on shows. And I thought I'd put up something. And keep us entertained. You know. And um, I'm glad you guys can hang out. I'm about to lift open this door right here. So we're going to get some entertainment going. And you guys and can relax and, and um, have something to watch. It's my gift to the world so to speak my gift to you because I like you coming around here listening I really do we ain't got shit you know they fucked up Star Wars they fucked up everything and in my opinion and we ain't got shit so I wanna put up something to make to keep us entertained okay how about that now first of all I'm gonna talk to some friends here because I think I have to straighten out some some uh some not manners but behavioral issues around here and I just want to say to you guys when I'm saying this not you guys listening not you she tears but they know who they are and while I'm saying this I swear I don't want to hear a word from you you're going to listen to me talk let me talk now I'm gonna lift open this curtain. Not you now, she could tell y'all everybody listening to me just gotta be patient. Just gotta wait. I gotta straighten out some things here. First of all, when I lift over this curtain, you're gonna shut up and you're gonna just listen. Alright? And we're gonna do this segment. This is called a picture up. Alright? So I want it quiet. Excuse me. Let me just come in and say something. Okay, you want to come in and say something? Go ahead and say something. Well, I want to say something too. Let me talk first. Alright, go ahead and talk first. First of all, I want to say thanks for having us back on. I just had, this is the way I felt about it. This, I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, first of all, you guys are going to keep quiet. And I mean that shit. Keep quiet. I don't want to hear a peep from you. Now, guys, we're going to start off very, very calm. And I mean it. I don't want to, I don't, you know, ain't going to be no riffraff around here because I ain't having it. Y'all looking at me with those silly ass faces and you know what the fuck I'm talking about. So, I'm going to lower this right here. Okay, here we go. Now, I mean it. I don't want no shit. You didn't let me finish talking to what I got to be saying here. Okay, go ahead. Thanks for having us on, and it's an honor to be here on social media. On YouTube and Google Plus again. Oh, I want to say the intelligent words now. Okay, let, let Snippy do the intelligent words. Go ahead. Thank you for being on the, you, uh, the, the social media Google. Good job, Stampy. Actually, it's YouTube and Google Plus and Twitter because they wire us all around. Why do they do that? Won't they just come here and listen? They don't want to give me no views. Dude. They don't want to. They jealous and they don't want to give me no views. Well, I don't understand that. Uh, well, uh, people they call hate and they they don't like certain things. So they don't. One of the things they don't want to give us is views. So they want to wire me up. So to, oh, that's stupid bullshit. And that's why the Star Wars shit is fucked up. And it's never going to be fixed. <laughs> that's why you wouldn't 
tell them. And let me tell you something. You need to grow up and get an education. Education. See, like my kid got. Well, well yeah, yeah. I'm, I consider myself educated, but not. Uh, I don't have an education like that. What's the difference? Oh, uh, well, I didn't graduate high school. Me neither. <laughs> I don't know what high school is. Well, I finished school. I just didn't graduate. That's all. Why? Because I, I just want. I, I didn't. I wanted to work. That's why I, I didn't. I didn't. I wanted to work. So let me get this straight, son. You mean to tell me that you finished school, but you didn't graduate? Yeah, something like that. Why? Because I didn't give a fuck about it. I just wanted to finish school. And I thought that when you drop out and everything, they, they just say you finished school. I didn't know you had to graduate. Well, how do you expect to get your diploma if you don't walk down the aisle? I don't know. I just thought I, I thought wrong. So I fucked up. So I fucked up, right? Well, don't worry about it. We fuck up all the time. We do, my kid. We do. What you doing there? Oh, what are you rolling, my kid? I'm rolling a cigarette because I want to smoke. Anyway, guys, how you guys doing out there? I want to welcome you. I'm going to put up a picture up so we have something to look at while we just wasting time. You know, just doing absolutely nothing. And while y'all sitting here with your mouths open wide going, how about she do this? How about she do this? None of your fucking business! Shh, shh, what do we talk about? You fucked up, man. You fucked up. What do we talk about? I'm sorry. You fucked up, man. While y'all sitting here wondering how I'm doing this, it's, it's no mystery. It's just I'm um, a ventriloquist. It's called ventriloquism! Something like that. He right. Stink. Say it again for the audience. It's called ventriloquism. It's ventriloquism. Something like that. I can't even pronounce it. Sweetie, you know how to pronounce it? Your girlfriend said no. Cindy said no. She don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's ventriloquism. Some kind of shit. I just know how to do it. Can't y'all just get along like the dead guy said? This dead, the dead black guy now, the Rodney King, he's dead. He's dead now. And he said, can't you all get along? And to this day, they're getting along just like he said. And if he was alive, he'll be very happy. Well, I wouldn't say that. Well, I, I guess uh, I never thought about it that way. And you really think about it, Rocky. There's no way to get upset at how the United States of America turned out. He they getting along just like he wanted them to. See, Stampy is kind of educated too. I see, I see that. Well, yeah, but I don't think he. Well, okay, all right, okay, all right, all right. It's a thought. Do you understand, Rashi? It's a thought. It's a thought. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. In that way, yeah, yeah. Well, see, they're getting along. So shut your fucking mouth. And let's get along and do a show. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, anyway guys, um, there's not much going on. I just wanted to put up something for us to listen to while I, while I get this show together. And I put up something yesterday. I thought I'd put up something today. So, you know, something very simple and everything. You know, just relax, everybody. Everybody just fucking relax, okay? You idiot! What are you doing? I'm scratching. My ear is itching. Could you scratch over the ear, please? Because you really, you scratching and, and I'm hearing shit all over my fucking thing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. When he scratches, it gets all up. Take a look. I don't want to look at that shit. Get that shit out of my face. God damn it. I didn't mean it. No, you didn't mean it. It just happened to happen, right, motherfucker? Just stop it. <laughs> I scratched, too. Everybody scratched. I saw a segment on Sesame Street. Wait, everybody scratches. 
but they were showing the wrong places. Rashid, say where the scratch is at. Right between the pursua. That's it right there. See, Sesame Street bitch ass, they don't tell kids how to really scratch. They tell them all the bullshit. The back of your neck, and back of your head, on top of your head, and under your feet. Well, they never talk about the, the, the under your underarms. Well, that's an uncomfortable situation, I think. Not necessarily. It's all how you look at it, Rashid. It's all how you look at it. So shut the fuck up. Why are you always telling me to shut the fuck up? Run, Jesus fucking Christ, I get you on here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a habit. Yeah, it's a habit. Oh, no. Now it's three of you guys. Oh, it's my favorite bestest friend in the world. Yeah, I'm your bestest friend in the world. Well, I tell you what, we all gonna get along here. Anyway, can I talk to these audience? Sorry about the interruptions. Go ahead and talk right here. All right. First of all, guys, I just want to say, um, there's nothing happening. I'm working on a show and everything, but you gotta be patient. Patience is everything, and it'll be ready soon. So everybody just relax, okay? Please fucking relax. Y'all, yeah, kick back and relax. Oh, Rashid. I don't think the Rashid is answering you. Shh. Shh. It's the wolf. Shh. 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 It's the way you got to approach the R man. You don't approach him like anybody else on social media. Like these fools. Who only care about subscribers and views. They're a bunch of idiots. That's why. They're a bunch of idiots. Who need to grow up. Nah. Approach Rashid the right way. I see. Yes, Stephanie. I hear you. Rashid. I hear you, Stephanie. What is it? Tell me. Give it to me slow. I was wondering, are you going to smart? That's all you fucking guys think about, dude? Like we the only ones. There's plenty of people that sparks. They're just afraid to say it because the size of the, the high CEO companies. I don't think they got something to do with nothing to do with it, but okay. Can I sit closer to you, I see? I guess you can. Why? So you can get some of the shit when I smoke. Why do they worry about you so much, Rashid? It makes them feel important, that's why. If you want to feel important, you take an x lax Yeah! If you want to feel important, take milk and magnesium, yeah! Not that right. And make sure nobody at home. We talking about total relaxation right there, dude. Oh my God. But nobody at home and you just taking a squirt. Oh goodness, you making me cringe. I need some milk and magnesia. You idiot. It's not time for that yet. You're not home, we in the studio. God damn it, dude. I mean that's not a bad idea going for that shit right now, but
You know I like you guys. Y'all, wait, wait with the y'all shit. You know I like you guys. Why is that? Because y'all chill out. Y'all ain't gotta talk all the fucking time. Y'all like, y'all could we could all just relax and shit. There's no reason for all this talking bullshit. Like some of these YouTube videos, they talk and talk and talk and talk. And ain't got nothing to fuck to say. Nothing worthwhile anyway. Some of this shit is good, but I just, you know, I, I don't know. I just want to chill out. What are all these buttons for? I know, they're for contacting people. Something like that. If I want to talk to somebody, if I get a Gmail or something, and which one do I push to talk to someone? No, this is pre-recorded. What does pre-recorded? Yeah, pre-recorded mean it's been done already. Yeah, it's not live. It's live, but in a sense, it's pre-recorded. Or it's pre-recorded, but a sense is live. You say it backwards. All geniuses talk like that. Yeah, thanks for the compliment. It's credit when credit is due. Rashi. Never forget that. I'll try not to. I had to have you guys back on, dude. I really did. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. God damn, could you sit, sit down? As soon as you jump up, your fat ass knocking over everything. I'm sorry. It's alright, don't worry about it. It's alright. Don't worry about it. You not having fun, baby? Okay. That's a pre-recorded bar. Yeah, it's pre-recorded bar. You know what, Rahi? What's that, man? Life is so fucked up. How did things get this bad in the first place? Because it's that fucking Michael Jordan fucking shit. He started it. I don't like that basketball stuff. Sometimes I do, but not all the time. Well, these guys want it every fucking chance they get. I like the basketball! Did anybody hear me? I said I like the basketball. That's good. That's good. What's basketball? I'll do this one. I can explain it if you want. No, no, there's no need for that shit. Basketball is when you bounce a ball through a hoop. For points. Yeah. I see. How did I ever get mixed up with a bunch of fucking morons? They family, so you should just, you know, just get along with it for goodness' sake. Basketball is one of the most important sports in the world. If that's so important, then where's the next celebrity for it? After Michael Jordan. We don't have television, so we won't fucking never fucking find out. I don't give a fuck about it. Yeah, don't give a fuck about it. If I got money on the game, I give a fuck about it. But I gotta have money. No, it's too in. What the hell? What you looking at? 
Just looking around. RVT. You're kind of like us. Why you say that? Because nobody give a fuck about you anymore. Well, they, well, they have us. We die out. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. You know that. Nothing lasts forever, man. They think we're not cool. And that's why my C access to this RBT station. It's ours, you idiot. It's ours. I built it for us. You losers. The biggest fucking losers in the world. You think Disney will fuck with us? Man. Disney will not fuck with us, man. Dear, dear, friend. Calm down. Calm down. Disney will not fuck with us, man. Calm down, okay, all right. You got your point. Y'all, when we gonna smoke the weed? Shut the f- You one dumb son of a bitch. Shut up! Who said we gonna do any fucking with that? I never said- it's called consinuation. It's insinuation, dumbass. All right, guys, we'll just get to get what we went win. And these makeup editorial women putting on makeup, fighting each other. That last time I heard it, I don't even go visit them no more. I don't do shit no more. I had, I had a lot of people that I used to go visit and everything. I slacked up on it because I'm probably just scaring the shit out of them by now. The best thing you do in a case like that, Lucky, is to slack off of them. Because see, you're a cartoon like us. They will never understand. You're scaring them. Y'all, yeah, Lucky. You're scaring all the people you go to their stations and comment, y'all. I keep, now listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. These are a bunch of fucking morons. Go ahead, tell me. When you're dealing with people, you gotta take it easy. Take it slow. Not too much. Every time you go to their stations and comment in their box, my heat, they get fucking scared. Like the Indian women. That's a perfect example, Stevie. The Indian bitches. And the Muslim bitches. They run from you, man. I know, I know. They, well, they don't run from me. It's just, they just shy. That's the Muslim shy. Why? Because of Muhammad? No. Well, I ain't going to necessarily say this. It's because of that Muhammad, the prophet. He don't like it. Well, I don't want to say that. But that fucking uh, Dan Aykroyd motherfucker... He said the aliens don't like him because of Britney Spears. That's what Dan Aykroyd said. Y'all, Britney Spears! I don't understand. Explain me some more. It was, well, I was watching the Dan Aykroyd event. And this motherfucker said, this is what he said, and I quote. I heard he's a very good actor, the Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, well, this is what he said. He said he was talking to Britney Spears on the telephone and aliens was outside looking at him and talking to Britney Spears and they gave him a dirty look. And he hung up the phone. He said the aliens didn't like him talking to Britney Spears. That's what he said. He got he. He must be smoking some good shit. Blah. Let me go see what he's smoking. No. He's saying it's serious, guys. It's not a joke. He's saying it's really happened to him. I don't understand that. How the fuck does aliens give a fuck about the Britney Spears? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of sick. Y'all, the aliens gonna kick his ass because he like Britney Spears, y'all. Shit, he better not fuck with the other celebrities then. He's no telling what he'll do with Whoopi Goldberg. Oh my goodness, he better stay clear away from Whoopi Goldberg. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't know, but they just said, he said, this is what he said. He said the motherfuckers gave him dirty looks when he was, when they saw him talking to Britney Spears on the telephone. And that's what Dan Aykroyd said. If that don't beat off, 
boy getting mad about Britney Spears. I wouldn't talk to Britney Spears anyway. Well, the thing is, he was talking to her because they did a movie called Crossroads. So, he was talking to her about some issues or whatever. Is he going to make it like a godfather? Nah, I don't think that's a, uh, her, his god, her godfather. I don't, I don't know. I didn't read anything like that, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I think it's weird. Oh well, everybody got their own shit. Everybody got their own fucking courtness, I guess. Yours is black ass, cause you come from the project. And from what I understand. You was fucking a black woman on a daily basis. Something like that. Oh, uh, why? What happened? Uh, uh, what's going on? Well, see, they, they telling everybody what to do now. And I don't play that fucking shit. Y'all, black people trying to tell everybody what to do. Nah, fuck that shit. Oh, motherfucker. What are the white people doing? They, they joining in. It's like the Wizard of Oz. Everybody was scared of the Wicked Witch, and then they joined Dorothy and marching around the Yellow Brick Road. Motherfucker, what they got to do with that? They, they ain't the same thing. Y'all, it's the same. Now, she is a little hint. Whenever he comes up with shit like that, let it go, man. Let it go, man. Okay, I let it go. Let it go, man. Okay, I let it the fuck go. But that's not the same fucking... If I got it wrong, correct me. I don't want to correct you. Just, just go ahead. I mean, shit. Let it go, man. Okay, I'll let it go. Fuck it. I'll let it go. Fuck it. Yeah. Why are the Afro Americans telling people what to do? The white man gave them their power to do it. That's why. This stupid fucking shit. I never heard anything fucking so ridiculous in my fucking existence. And I'm a Chewbacca. A Chabame. A Chihuahuas. And I'm a cat that's smarter than the average cat. Yeah. And I will ever. Okay. Yeah, well. I'm glad you guys can come here and help me keep everybody entertained while... I'm getting this show together. What's the show about anyway? It's about um Well actually I have I have it I don't really gotta it y'all just gotta see it guys. When it it get posted, I'll probably have it done in a couple weeks or so. I'll I'll get it done. Just just relax and be patient and Mm-hmm. What is it guys? How long are we supposed to wait? I don't know. People waiting for Jesus. People waiting for Allah. And people waiting for this fucking wait. And you shut the fuck up, Ren. You got me that time I hear. How does it feel? Now, my heat, let me take over. Go ahead, Stumpy. Take over, man. Man, how does it feel to be told to shut the fuck up? It feels humiliating. It feels like, like I'm not shit. Yeah, it feels very stupid. I think that's what I need. I'm used to telling these boneheads to shut up. That I did it to you. And I didn't mean it. It's okay, man. Don't worry about it. We all make mistakes. Like me going on social media. That wasn't a mistake! Well, I don't think that was a mistake, Rossi. Show it, motherfuckers, how it's done! It's never a mistake! Didn't Cat the Caveman tell the YouTubers to look out something big was coming to YouTube? You told them fair and square and they didn't listen. Now they sitting back with their mouth hanging open wide looking stupid. Fear is fear to me. 
Y'all fair is fair. You warned them. Something different coming to you too. Yeah, that's true. So don't feel like an idiot. If they can't pay attention, tell them to go back to school. I heard they Jew boys trying to be white anyway. Is that true? I don't know their ethnicity. In my opinion, it is. I'm just pissed the fuck off. And you don't have a right to be? They full of shit. And that Star Wars shit that you and Ralph Cranston was talking about. They waiting. They waiting for to see Star Wars. They gonna get the biggest ass whooping since the Jews. They already did it. They fucked it up. Everybody gonna see how the Afro American handles a lightsaber, and a white man wants to see. How an Afro American handles a lifesaver because they've never seen it before. You mean to tell me of all the characters in Star Wars, they never seen an Afro American with a lifesaver? Nope. So they were sitting around drunk one day, probably at one of those business meetings. Probably it's one of them. Those CEO companies or something. Mm hmm. And they told him. They, they made a bet, probably, what it would be like to see the brother with a lightsaber fighting like Luke. Hmm. That's pretty fucked up here. You know what? You have to realize that life is fucked up. Wow, what is that you're rolling? Ah! Shh, shut the fuck up. Jesus, you fucking big mouth son of a bitch. I didn't mean that, y'all. You see what I'm talking about? A bunch of fucking idiots. Thank you, my good man. Anytime, man. I'm right here, friend. Not too much. I mean it. Boy, that sure hits the spot. Ain't it the truth, dude? I'm not! Shh! Can he lower his voice? That's the way he talks. He's a fucking idiot. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, idiot buddy of cousin of mine. My cousin is a fucking idiot. So what's next? What we talk about next? I don't know. Um, I gotta run out today and get some food and everything. And uh, you know, I'll be busy. I need to load this up. Well, I got some more tobacco. Boy, I feel good. You know what, Rashi? What is it, Ryan? I predict that everything is going to get better in the United States of America and all around the world. That's what I predict. Niggas ain't so bad, you know? No, I grew up in the projects and niggas hard here. You know what I mean? And when they go upside their white motherfucker's skull, he gonna know what time it is. Y'all, niggas gonna go upside his skull. Then he gonna wake the fuck up and say, oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> That's exactly what's gonna happen. It's just a matter of time. But I tell you one thing, and they're gonna stop a motherfucker around here. 
You can say that again. I love coming around here. It's so incredible. The freedom is immensely. You like the freedom, huh? Yeah, it's so free around here. You don't have to pretend or anything. How do you make it that way? Because I drop law. I'm the boss. I know, baby, I know. You see, she says be careful with that. Yeah, you gotta be careful when promoting yourself, y'all. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube. I think I'm gonna make a YouTube video. Are you? What's it gonna be about? Let me answer that. The Jews. No, you idiot. It's gonna be about something else more valuable than Jews. Y'all, yeah, more valuable than jewels. It's going to be about life. Just like the RVT. The Army. Oh, shucks. See, now you make me feel good. You make me feel really, really good. I appreciate that. Don't they tell you all the time on social media? Shit. Are you kidding me? They ain't giving me nothing. They said they ain't going to make me feel like I'm doing a fucking thing. But I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I like the way you think, Rashid. I really, really like the way you fucking think. Yeah! You think incredible! That's a nice color. I know, that's nice. That's nice red. It's like a rose red. I think it's, it's like a rose ring. It looks very, yeah. I just thought I'd put that up while we in the studio. Hmm, huh, that's good. Last time you showed off the, uh, the looks. What he's trying to say, because he's smoking that shit, is the last time you showed our face. But this time, it's like smooth. And that's the way you got to play it. All the time. All the time. So tell us about why these Indian women scared. I don't know. Indian women scared. They, their country is different. They, they don't talk too much. I mean, they talk, but you gotta be careful with them. They, they docile. I understand. Are they children like that? Yup, from the youth all the way up, just like the good books say. Yeah, just like the good books say. Well, you know what, Rahim? I wouldn't sweat it too fucking much. It's not a big fucking deal. Do they subscribe to you? They're one of my biggest subscribers. And the uh, Muslims. See, when I first came on social media, I was dressing Americans. But Americans, they, 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 they got jealous too fucking much. Oh, they got, oh, I, they got the, uh, oh. When Americans saw me, dude. That was it. They fucking lost. Oh, they lost their fucking mind. Oh, I can imagine my shit. Shit. These Americans lost their fucking mind. So, <coughs> a lot of foreigners came in and said, hey, we only, we not only like you, but we'll subscribe to you and back you the fuck up. So, that's how it happened. But you're still an American, my shit. And they still don't like me either because of that. I go through races with them, but I'm not worried about that shit. They know I'm different. I'm not I'm not like these other fuckheads around here. And they fucking see that shit. I piss Americans off on a daily fucking basis. Yeah, you pissed off the white people all the time. So it really doesn't matter. You know, I mean, it, it doesn't fucking matter, dude. Americans ain't shit. America ain't never gonna be shit. And now that nigga walk around here like Mighty Joe Young telling everybody what the fuck to do and fuck this country and fuck everything. 
And I'm going to stick by my America the way I want to stick the fuck by it. That's right. Now you're fucking talking. See, that's what I'm talking about. A YouTuber with balls. With fucking balls. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So what are you gonna do if uh, you get no Americans backing you up? I got American companies backing me up, so I don't need these motherfuckers around here. And I'll tell you something else, too. And later on, they start talking that shit, that's when I'm gonna really think everything fucking funny. Y'all, that's when you lie. That's gonna be some funny fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, we'll stick, we'll deal with that later on. I ain't worried about that fucking sucker shit. The sucker ass shit, and you ain't got time for that bullshit. Do your YouTube, the UVH, uh, v, don't say that VH1. I meant to say RVT, it slipped out. You have to always remember, Stimpy, that everything is not everything on social media. Rashid is different. He's RVT. Not the VH1 uh, thing. I think they're out of business anyway. No, they still in. They still in. ain't the same. Though. I can imagine. I would never leave touch. I wouldn't even look at that. Y'all wouldn't look at it. Oh, well. That's the way life goes, I guess. That's what Janet, that's what the fuck is. That's what she said. That's the way love goes. Right down the tube. Right down the fucking drain. And they'll never crop up again. Right, it'll probably crop up. It'll be mutated when it crop up. Bro. Bet your sweet ass on that. Yeah, bet your sweet ass on that. The foreigners came to me like fucking glue, dude. They just fucking... They ain't, I, don't, I don't even like calling them foreigners. They friends. They my friends. I don't even like calling them that. Call them people. Yeah, that's what I call them. Because Americans wouldn't call them that. Americans would call them all sorts of things. They call me sand nigga and everything. I ain't even the fuck. I ain't even from a. No shit. Wait a second. Ain't your mother a white woman, Rashid? Yeah, she was white. So what? Then what the fuck are they talking about, man? I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't even fucking care. Either. They can suck my dick. I don't give a fuck about it. Now that's some funny shit right there. Y'all yeah, suck my cheese dick. Because let me tell you something. In this country here, in this world, is about trying to survive, not trying to be a black man. I don't want to talk about that bullshit. I swear to fucking God, I see. Okay. It's about paying bills, put shit on the table, going to school, minding your business, and surviving this ape ass shit. It just ain't nothing but planning to eat bullshit. This is really getting to me. Just calm down. Calm down, man. Okay. I'll calm down. I won't even comment. I'm a nice kind of guy. Yeah, be a nice guy. How do you like being a nice guy? You came on social media, a rabid ass motherfucker. And now it doesn't matter. I'm still going to be that rabid ass motherfucker. I'm just doing it in a different fucking way because I got... I'm attracted all kind of people to me, you know? I, I say I don't want to be no fucking celebrity. God damn it! You idiot! Won't you get the fuck out of here? He's calling all freaks, not you! Yeah, Rashid calling all freaks! Let me talk to these people for one second here. Can't you guys get it through your fucking head that Rashid don't care for that Michael Jordan bullshit? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? They're a bunch of idiots. They don't understand what freak mean. The different. The crush. Nobody likes us anymore. And Rahim always invites us to his YouTube. That's RVT. 
and YouTube. RBT and YouTube. Y'all, RBT and YouTube. And you guys out there worry about subscribers. You fucking idiots. You fucking moomers. Why, if I was a YouTube worker, if you was a fucking YouTube worker, what would you do? I would go to your Gmails. And I would pretend like I'm a Hollywood celebrity star. And I will make pretend. Tell him when I will pretend like I like you. Then I'll say, get the fuck out of my face. That'll show them motherfuckers. Yeah, that'll show them motherfuckers. I ain't worried about none of it, though, because I take it all a stride, dude. One day at a time is a way to go. One day at a time. One day at a time. Yeah, the day of the time one. And I'm going to tell you something else, too. We are taking off around here. And whoever can hold on to the shit got to let go. Because motherfucker going to get hot later on. I'm telling you now, I'm going to get hot. You don't want to see my sheet when he's hot, YouTubers. They really be scared of them. I predict that the YouTube workers. Wait a minute, not the workers. The YouTubers. Like, the YouTubers, not workers. Now, go ahead and say what you got to say. I predict that all the YouTubers is going to be scared of Rashid by the things he do. And he, you know he's pissing you guys off. I'm pissing them off on a daily basis, dude. They say I'm trying to get the hog the spotlight. It ain't my fault they want to talk and talk and talk. Tell me something, Rashi. What is it to talk about on social media? Particularly YouTube and Twitter. What is it to talk about? I don't fucking know. Because ain't nothing going on in the news. And I don't fucking know what they do, what they find. So I don't know. They just talk. I like top tens, though. I like top tens, and I like movie critics. And that's top tens of movie critics. They sound like it's about something. It is. I'll deal with that, but some of them just, I don't know. I don't know. This is guy to play video games, and he's the biggest thing on YouTube. And the people just watch him play video games. I don't understand that, but talk about some stupid backward ass shit. You mean to tell me that this YouTuber only play video games? That's all he does is play video games, and he's supposed to be the number one person on YouTube. <laughs> I think he made a mistake there, Rashi. It don't make sense there. Well, I'm telling you the fucking truth. The motherfucker played video games, and he's supposed to be he's the top fucker on here. That don't beat off. See, that's the reason why this is all bullshit. That's the reason why I don't want to get involved with this YouTube bullshit. I'd rather scratch. You said it, Steepy. We'd rather scratch than to get involved with this bullshit. And Rashi, since you're father and all, you fucking leave. And we'll be right fucking behind you. We will. And we'll enjoy what you enjoy. Sounds good to me. I ain't got no problem with that. So what are we talking about now? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? You name it. You're the boss. Yeah, Rashid is boss. Let's talk about the... Uh... I know. Don't say no white fucking woman shit. I'm not saying. Don't say no Indian or high jab. I was going to say high jab women. No, no, I'm not talking about high jab. I'm not doing that. Uh, Why not? Uh, Why not talk about high jet women, my feet? Because they timid too. Jesus Christ! Well, you know, Jesus! How many people are timid on social media? Everybody. But you nobody know each other. Everybody scared of each other. Yeah, everybody don't know each other, so they scared of each other. You don't understand. Nobody knows each other on social media, so 
Everybody's kind of timid. They all know each other, you know? I can't make people trust me. It don't work that fucking way. After all, look how, look at this shit. People scared of this shit. They wanna know how I'm doing all this fucking shit. And none of any fucking business. Mind your business and worry about your basketballs. Or footballs. I think the. Now we just getting into the football season. It doesn't matter. You don't watch sports anyway. Y'all, but she don't care for sports. I'd rather play it rather than watch it. And for that, I consider it less of a man. Shit. And for the shit, my shit. You know, I don't know how you put up with this bullshit. So I don't know either. I'm doing it, though. But I didn't want to come on and have no... I didn't expect to be like this. You know, I didn't expect to, to like, attract outsiders to me. I just wanted to, you know, I'm sticking to the lonely. And I'm going to keep addressing my crowd. The lonely, the depressed. And I'm going to keep addressing my crowd. I'm not going to worry about these important people listening. Because they got everything. They're eating. They're eating. In other words, I see what you said. They're eating meat every night. So, that's what I'm saying. They're eating meat every night. So, I ain't worried about that. Like those late night motherfuckers. I'm sick of them motherfuckers. Rashi, let me tell you something about those late night motherfuckers. They're not Johnny Carson. Man. They ain't never gonna be fucking Johnny Carson either. Never. Never. They ain't got what it takes to be Carson. They need to just close down or something. Y'all. Late night people need to close down, y'all. The shiny shoe motherfuckers. That's just what I call them, shiny shoe motherfuckers. The shiny shoe motherfuckers who got everything, knows every fucking thing in the world. And so these, some of these fly YouTubers too. I saw a YouTuber do, baby, I'm about to tell you. <coughs> I swear I'm about to tell you, sweetie. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I saw this YouTuber yesterday. This motherfucker got 44 million subscribers. <laughs> I swear to God. Get the fuck out of here. Let's see. So y'all, 44 million. That's a bunch of bullshit. I know. I, I don't know how they doing this shit. I don't know how they fucking doing this with these subscriber shit. But get the 44 million subscribers, dude. That's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> They rigging the machine or something. There's something going on. This mother, I swear to God, this motherfucker had 44 goddamn million subscribers. And then I saw them. They are good. I, don't get me wrong. They are good. But guy, it ain't. They, what they doing is not worth 44 million subscribers, dude. But you know, it's, if you gonna do something, do it. But if you do too much, they gonna find out. They, you, they, they might. They gonna find out. Ain't nobody stupid, dude. But. I ain't even gonna fucking get it. 44 million fucking subscribers, this motherfucker. That's a bunch of. I'm not even gonna comment on no shit like that. Nah! Nothing to say on shit like that! 44 million! Shit! That's a bunch of fucking bullshit. I told him, baby. Alright, I told him. I told him. Well, if they want to say they got 44 million subscribers, then who are me? Who are my? Uh, who are we? Always we, Rashi. Always we. 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 Guys, right, stay still. Don't jump nowhere. Everything calm now, guys. We want to keep it that way. It's a bunch of bullshit. 44 million. It's not that many. 44 million dickheads on YouTube. I know. Unless you can subscribe from Twitter. I don't know. I don't give a fuck about it. How's it gonna be 44 million subscribers? When Twitter is the shit. Facebook is the shit. Instagram is the shit. YouTube is the lowest fucking social media platform. Now in the world. Not really man. But when you force popularity. It is. Right. So how the fuck is gonna have 44? I don't know. The motherfucker had 44 million subscribers. 
That's a bunch of fucking cock of shit. Yeah, well. I'm not going for that. I'm not fucking. I think we talk long enough. I think it's time to go. Oh, come on with the bullshit. Well, you gotta understand, this is a picture up. It's a picture up, Ren. Don't forget about that. It's not like a Rashi show. Oh, I understand. It ain't supposed to be long. It's just a picture up, man. Yeah, but I tell you what. You guys, yeah, it's just a picture up. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, but you guys are gonna come back. You know, I'm gonna keep getting you back here. And y'all gonna come on a show one day, cause I like I, I like him and you guys, I really do. Well, it's a pleasure. Okay, don't don't. Okay, a pleasure to be okay. All right. Okay, all right. Kisses. She okay. Pleasure to be here, man. And a kiss for me. Okay, kiss for you and me. Okay, all right. Shit. God. And um, the rest of you guys, I'm glad y'all can listen to us talk shit. Come back again sometime. We'll have more bullshit for you to listen to. Y'all, yeah, we'll have more for you to listen to bullshit. And, um, can I say something honestly to these people? I don't know. You could try. I tried when I first came on social media, but if you think you can do it, go ahead. They won't listen to me. Okay. Thank you. Stop worrying about subscribers. He's gonna get emotional about you. Alright, just say it. The shit. I am Rashi. Say the shit. I am. Stop worrying about subscribers. The fucking shit. Tell him Stimpy. Tell him Stimpy, y'all! And stop worrying about your Gmail, cause they not gonna call you. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> all right, all right, Stephanie. All right, they never gonna call you, fuckers, cause you wear T-shirts talking shit all the time. Get it through your fucking head. They might call them. They some of them call them for the uh, some of the fucking uh, shit going on here. Some of them, y'all, some call. But then they come right back to YouTube. Welcome home. Like that CBS slogan a long time ago. Welcome home. That's what YouTube is saying to you guys when you leave those big corporation deals. <laughs> Fuck. Guys, I didn't say, I don't want, no. Don't take it personal, okay? Now these, take it personal, motherfuckers. I don't care, I know, I know, but don't take it personal. That's the way we roll around RVT. Now, it was nice having y'all. And come back again sometime and we can do this all again. Bye, YouTubers. And check your Gmail because nobody's called.